Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the reduction operation to make an array elements equal. It is a lead code medium and the number for this is 1887. And uh, I am sure that it will be an easy question for you if you watch the video up till the till the end. Because I am going to tell you a super simple solution for this question. So it will be of a it will be a modified counting sort. So Let's start with the question first. So we are given with an integer array nums and our goal is to make all the elements in the nums equal. And we can follow, uh, we can perform one operation in these steps. Either we can, uh, first of all, we have to find the largest element in the nums. Let it index be i. So largest element at i at index. And if there are multiple largest element, then we pick the smallest i. And the next greatest value in the nums, strictly smaller than the largest, will be next largest. Suppose we have a largest equal to 5. So the next largest will be equal to 3. Okay. And we have to reduce nums of i to next largest. That means we have to reduce 5 to 3. So it will become 3, 1, 3. So let's see the examples one by one. So first example we have 513. I have written here 513. Largest is 5 at index 0. So the next largest is 3. Reduce 5 to 3. So this is one operation. Now, now the largest is 3. At index 0 we have to take the smallest of the indexes because there are 2, 3. Next largest is 1. Reduce to 1. This is second operation and similarly the last three is also reduced to one and this is the third operation so the number of operations equal to three. Now we have an uh, example nums equal to one one one. So in this all the elements are equal and output is also zero because since all the elements are already zero we need not perform any operations and then we have one one two two and three. So for in the first iteration 3 will be reduced to next largest that is 2. So it will become 1, 2, 2, 2, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2. And next we take this 2, convert it into 1. And then this 2 will be converted into 1. And then this 2 will be converted into 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4 operations we are needed with. So 4 operations it will take to convert this into equal numbers. So how we'll do this? So first of all, we'll take a frequency table, uh, store the frequency of each element, and then we are going to iterate in the reverse order because we need to start from the largest. So we'll uh, start in the frequency table from the reverse order and uh, one by one perform some operations and count how many of them are needed. So let's start with the coding section. But before that, please do like the video subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel and share it with your friends so first of all we'll take the length in n and then we have to define a frequency table so frequency table equal to new and size will be so we have 10 raised to the power 10 into 5 into 10 raised to the power 4. So we'll take 5, 5001. One more than the given constraint. Then we'll store iterate in the nums array and store the frequency of each element. So frequency nums of i plus plus simple updation frequency updated now we will take rest equal to 0 and another operations equal to 0 as well this will be used to like store the operations and the result operations are incremented one by one then the result <coughs> so as I told you we need to start from the reverse order in the frequency table because we need to find the largest first 
so we start from the reverse make sure it is correct then it will go till 1 i minus minus first of all we will check the frequency of i the frequency of i If frequency of i is greater than or equal to 0 then operations which we have defined will be plus equal to frequency of i okay and result plus equal to operations minus frequency of i this is a simple step we need to do and after this simply return the result this will give us the actual answer and if you are thinking how it will give so initially both the rest result and the operations will be zero and uh, whenever frequency becomes greater than uh, zero it will be stored in the operations and uh, the op operations will contain the frequency and the result will initially contain the negative of the frequency no no the result will contain the operation minus frequency and in the next turn when uh, suppose the next time when the uh, another frequency comes it will store the difference in between the frequencies and in this manner we will we can get a we can get a the like uh, number of operations required so let's try to run it okay sample test cases are passed let's try to submit it so yes it is giving an excellent run time and a good memory as well it beats 80 percent if i talk about the time complexity is o of n where n is the length of the input array we are traversing it once and uh, this is constant space uh, constant time we are we can be are it is running constant time so it is constant so it is o of n and space complexity is also o of n because this is a constant so thank you for watching the video i hope you understood the logic very well if you have any suggestions regarding the explanation or uh, in the video please do write in the comment section all everything is welcome all opinions are welcome please do write and uh, thank you for watching the video have a nice day